Welcome, Millage Gamer, and welcome back on this long overdue second part of Fuga 2 Melodies of Steel or Fuga Melodies of Steel 2. Uh, we did a, a video a month ago recapping the, the story with this very handy tab here, previous story recap. So if you haven't seen it, go and check out the story of the first game which is still available, I believe, on uh, the Xbox Game Pass on computer for free. This game came out about a month ago, so it's still a discovery for me because I haven't touched it yet. I was too busy with Diablo 4, that you can see my uh, lives with Phil on our YouTube account. And now we're gonna do on this video the very first chapters just to see a bit of the, uh, of the story and the mechanic of the game. You will see the gameplay is really cool in this game. It's very simplistic and yet very addictive. So let's uh, start. I'm gonna try to shut up during the introduction, not like I did during the recap. This is all brand new for me, so let's start the game. You can see a little Tyrannis at the bottom of the screen, which was destroyed in number one. So. Let's shut up for a second. That's a recap of the old story. <laughs> oh, they're all grown up quite a lot, aren't they? And they are all completely hypnotized. They're all the kids from the first game. Oh no. Ay, ay, ay. We're gonna use the life force of one of the kids to destroy the other tank. We start straight away with the bad end. I believe on in the seat that was uh, Malky, the sister, so of course he's not super happy. The kid to fire the sword cannon. So for me, we start with two dead kids, including May, the, the, the sister of the hero blood. Sometime earlier. Okay, so let's hope we can change this horrible future. So that's the Tarascus in the middle of Gasco. Mm. Uh, Tyranist and Tarascus were supposed to be destroyed at the end of the first one, so I don't understand why they could still be working there, but hey, fair enough. How far could the Tyranists have gone? It's not like something that huge could stay hidden out of sight. Oh uh, yeah, that's kind of a big tank, eh? Mm. Could do the same about this hunk of junk, man. It feels like a bad dream being in here, yeah. It is a bad dream. Tarascus was a tank of the bad guy, which is why it's flashing red. red. Hmm. Never would have imagined we would be chasing after the Tyrannus in a diamond tank. Uh, Tarascus is, well, appropriated by a diamond general, but technically not a diamond tank. ]かつて大切な人々を取り戻すため、子供たちの戦いを... Okay, so uh, Gasco is where these children are from and which looked like post-apocalyptic France. It should have been some kind of a city like Paris, but it was blown up in the first, at the end of the first game. So let's say it wasn't completely blown up and what we see behind on the reconstruction. But it's already up in flames, so no idea what's happening here. Sono Taraniso, Kodomotachiva, Ishin Frani Otta. 
自らの手で破壊したはずの敵の戦車タラスクスに乗ってねえあれすんがにファスター Okay, so you, the guy you see was the、uh, Baron General, the bad guy of the first game, which who died with,、uh, with the Tarascus at the end of the first game. So apparently, he's, he would be the AI running the tank at this time. That's why it's still giving me the creeps. Yeah, of course it does. So, another Berman tank would be in the middle of Gasco? So, we're gonna try it. The tutorial will be destroying Berman tank with a Half blown up Tarascus. <coughs> oh, there's still Berman tanks in Gasco. Exactly what I said. They should all have fallen back home with their tails between their legs ages ago at the end of the first game. Yes, of course. <coughs> Don't waste time thinking about that now. Battle stations, everyone. Let's destroy some Berman tanks. <coughs> Let's go! <coughs> Damn! They're firing on us! <coughs> oh, what is that thing? Ooh! <laughs> A lowly tank! What the heck is it?、Mm. I don't know what it is, but I know we'll lose the Tyrannus if we don't send it packing <coughs> straight away. Let's do this, it's not man anyway, let's destroy this junk. Alright, so it's red. Destroy enemies with a three gun turrets on a giant tank, Tarascus. You can use either the machine gun, the grenade launcher, or the cannon. The children placed as a gun turret will attack with a skilled weapon type, so you'll see that's where the color comes in. Select the grenade launcher. Grenade launcher is yellow, it will. Well, you will see. Select the grenade launcher, and as you can see, there is a, a little yellow clock under the, the zero on the diamond tank. If I shoot with、uh, the grenade launcher, which is yellow as well, it's gonna delay the attack of the tank. You can see the order of attack on top of the screen. Boom! It's delayed and we're gonna shoot after everyone.、Uh, let's keep shooting with Grenade Launcher. No choice anyway. I don't have any skills or anything. And、uh, Malt has the cannon. So, cannon is, as you can see, is high attack but low accuracy. And you can see、oh, I still have 100%, so that's not gonna be the case, of course, after tutorial. But for now. Boom! Goodbye! S rank! Da, 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 da. S rank means we get 1.5 more experience than、uh, other ranks. So, in the result, experience,、uh, experience points and items can be obtained according to the outcome of battle items being used to upgrade your tank. Win the battle more quick,、uh, the, the quicker you win, the more experience you will get. And the better the rank. Rank is based on the, the timing and the received、uh, damage. We managed to beat it. Everyone okay? Oh. Yeah, looks like the t a r a s c u s pulled through for us. Looks just like the t a r a n i s is、uh, 
uh, a bit red and busted up and with a German, a, b a dead Burman general ghost guiding it. Vanagon being uh, a very big mass destruction weapon which we destroyed at the end of the first uh, game. That's actually not correct. You dig it up because Tarascus existed long before, uh, before, before all of this. You know, it was a, a weapon from ancient time, from thousands of years ago. So it didn't overthrow its creation. It overthrew his uh, restoration, more like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yada yada. Ah. You see it like you're talking about someone else. What's all your fault, Pax? You should uh, should the blame, Pax being of course the Burman general. Ah, uh, fair enough. If he's an AI, still don't understand how he's there, but okay. Uh. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, so he's an AI, same as Jeanne in the previous, uh, in the previous game. Jeanne being the AI uh, driving the Taranis. So Hax will be the AI for the Tarascus. Mm. As I said, so you're kind of like Jeanne back on Taranis, huh? I wish Sox was here. Sox being the uh, clever type, he'd be he'd be able to explain everything. Oh. Look at that, right? We gotta hurry and catch up to them. <sighs> I don't get it, me neither, to be honest. How did we even end up in this situation? Gasco to Berman Tekok to no say so ni. Tay Saint Kyotanga Musubaretekara, which in end no sign it's in a sigitata.巻き込まれた過酷な戦いに別れを告げた子供たちもそれぞれが平和な日常を取り戻していたそんなある日現在の実質的な首都であるファラオに集まってほしいという頼りがガスコ軍から子供たちに届いた yeah, so the rebuild the capital city because, as I said, the previous one uh, first was on the back of the giant monsters, uh, the Vanagon, and got completely blown away with the destruction of, uh, well, the supposed implosion of the Tarascus. How oh, pretty! Presidential Residence Plaza. Uh, by the mm. way, what's second? So Malt, as you can see here, his name is uh, Malt. Uh, I don't remember, but he's a, he's a race at least. He's a, he's a Canidou Shepherd. And Gasco in the future will be renamed as Shepherd. This game is part of the Little Bronx Saga. So there's several games uh, which were made before, but post date these games. Melodies of Steel is kind of a prequel to everything. So in future game, this country will not be Gasco but Shepard in memory of the hero Malt. So Malt is really the protagonist of both games. It's been a year since the fighting ended. Yeah. Glad to see you're doing well. The other guy is a, a Burman, a Burman child soldier. Mm. Fritz. Same goes for all of you. I wish Jean and Wapa could be here too. So yeba. Jin's coast is hand full of the things the factory inherited. In the first one, Jin's father was the boss of the factory but was killed during the Burman invasion. Yo. And Wapa, the little crazy kid who thinks she's the leader of the kids. Wapa has been out roaming the open road. She's a free spirit. No one could get a hold of her, it seems. Well, figures. <laughs> It certainly sounds like what they've been up to. <laughs> oh, 
Anna, she grew up, she was like four or five years old in the first game, so. Uh, it's been forever, Shina. Oh, no, sorry, Anna is uh, the, the ginger head. Uh, May's uh, little sister on the left, and uh, Shina is a healer on the, on the right. And Anna is the best healer of the first game. It's been forever, Shina. How's your mom doing? I've been worried about her. Because her mom being able to use some kind of magic was being used as a test experiment among other uh, parents in some weird science facilities. So now she's doing much better. So? Looks like Chicken Hack, uh, the twins, might be coming late. <laughs> Can't wait till everyone shows up. Muscat is this cat lady in the Gasco army who was trained to understand and running after the Tyrannis, wondering why a giant tank was helping the army in the first, ga first game. The army was quite useless. useless. We appreciate if each of you coming all this way. I hate to interrupt your reunion, but would you mind coming with me? Oh, no problem at all, Lieutenant Muscat. Lieutenant Muscat, was it? Muscat being a very nice wine, by the way. Eh. That's right, sorry to get right to it, but there's something I'd like you to see. <laughs> Though, I imagine it might not stir up the greatest of memories for you all. A Tyrannis! Which should have been... ダメージ。さあ、スリダメージ。さあ、スリダメージ。さあ、スリダメージ。さあ、スリダメージ。さあ、スリダメージ。さあ、スリダメージ。さあ、スリダメージ。さあ、スリダメージ。さあ、スリ
uh, believe machine gun is nearly always 100% accuracy. Also, malt with this cannon will nearly always miss. So that's why you need uh, all weapons working pair. So you see the the twins here will switch them up. So you see you, the ability for which weapon for which children. So for instance, you can see that uh, that chicken hack. She can use the grand launcher. Hack can use the machine gun. Let's switch. I can display it. Well, I'm not gonna read all of this, right? We understand how it works. So. So you can't play with your mouse here, it's uh, all WSAD. Just take some time to. Uh, no, sorry, so I want select Kyle with a cursor. Why should I select Kyle? That's silly, I want machine gun everywhere. Uh, yes, exactly. I want machine gun at all positions if possible. Uh, no, I don't want to return to battle. I want to put melt away. I want to... Because of course the green show will have a higher accuracy than uh, the cannon, but... Well, that's tutorial and you have to put away what you say, but that's not what I would do. So here with the machine gun they will be delayed and they're gonna take a lot of damage but the cannon will miss that means i'm gonna get hit twice well that's a lucky shot and the tutorial shot because after in the game the cannon very rarely touch a 30 percent chance i think to touch our, our, our aerial enemy And that's it for this tutorial. Hey. That's wrong. So that's, uh, as you can see, the base of the mechanic is very easy. Then after you're gonna get some power uh, for each of the kids, which gonna enrich the gameplay. It's not gonna be much more difficult. But it's gonna give you a lot more options. Thanks, Hax. Mm. Gonna feel weird to thank him like that. Yes, I agree. Mm. You're not wrong. It's just well, you know, he's helping, and it's not. Uh, it's not the enemy now. It's just an AI. So, ne? We need to relearn this tank if we're ever gonna catch up to Ternus. Mm. Exactly. Thank you, Sheena. That's right, we have to stop Taranis, no matter what. And the uh, poor kids which are hypnotized inside. Twenty-three hours earlier. Giant depot. Paran. Why is the Taranis here? Never saw the tears again. Looks like it's prime and ready to get right back into the thick of things. I am not without a, a, an AI, it's not. Wow, wow almost forgot how big it is. Wow. It's huge! It certainly looked like a less bitter than, a, than it did a year ago. So, ne? Like it removed the scratches on its fall all on its own. Or maybe the Gasco army fixed it up? What a strange tank. あつめられた子供たちが案内された先にあったのはかつて子供たちの力となっていたあのタラニスだったタラニスには全体を覆うように作業用の足場が組まれすでに調査が進んでいるように見えたあ、you can see we've launched a sore inspection of Taranis, but the door is still tight and we can't get in. We need you kids to get in. Oh. I see where this is going. Do you have any idea what is that might be? Mm. I don't think any of us even knew it could even be locked. Well, of course it's all managed by the AI and Jeanne disappeared at the end of the first one, so she might have locked it so that no one ever gets seen again. So That's right, I don't think anyone beside us ever has ever been inside the Taranis. Mm. 
Ah, let me take a look. What was that sound? Hello. It seemed busy to him. I guess it's open now. I see. Perhaps the terrain is only allows entry to those it deems worthy. Yes. No, so the door is open. We can finally continue our inspection within the vehicle. Yes, you're gonna find our bed, our farms, everything inside. Everything must be rotten, but yes. So cute, who's that? Poyakoto, Hmm. New characters. So we can finally survey the entire. Can we, Canel? Or, I mean, Lieut Lieutenant Muska. Hi. It is, indeed, thanks to the children Eka. paying us a visit. Allow me to introduce you all. This is President Shane Muska, my father. Yeah? Wait, you're the President's daughter? I had no idea. <laughs> well, I suppose I never mentioned it. <laughs> and this is my sister Vanilla. Arigato. Allow me to offer my heartfelt gratitude for making the long journey here. Thank you, one and all. Vanilla. Come now, Vanilla. Introduce yourself. Hajimemashite. Yeah. Okay. I'm Vanilla. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too. I'm Malt and this is my sister May. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm May. <laughs> and I'm Hannah. Malt and I are both from Petimona. Pleased to meet you, Vanilla. <laughs> Pleased to meet you both, Hannah and May. Hmm. Well, I don't want to get in your way any more than I am. Back to my duties. Are you staying, Vanilla? Hi. Bakata. Yes, Father. All right then. I'll leave her in your hands, Lieutenant. Hi. Understood。大統領は軽く頷くと、タラニスをゆっくりと眺めながら、ガレージをタラニス内にはハンナとメイ、ゴロン、ソックス、そしてブリッツが先に入り、調査の準備を始めた。And this is the list of kids you so hypnotized at the very beginning of the cinematic. その間、マルトとカイル。シーナが外でマスカット注意の質問に答えているところへ遅れていたマルトお兄ちゃん。Sorry for showing up late. Long time no see everyone. すっげえぞ。Wow, Taranis, are you taking it up for a joyride? What? Uh, no. Absolutely not. その時、突然異変が起きた。And that's where it all went wrong. Taranis のあらゆる。